hi youtube it's curlis victoria i am back with another video so if you guys are new to my channel thanks for tuning in so if you guys have already tuned into the other video where you saw nude bags and nude shoes that i would wear then uh, make sure you give that video a thumbs up but in this video we're going to be actually putting on nude items that are in my closet minus the shoes because we've already put on shoes but let's get right into this video so i'm actually going to be keeping this um spank on as my garment so I can try on clothes for you guys um so if you see certain pieces and you're like girl that don't even look good it's because I have on a full body suit so something like this first piece here you probably want to see this with some like pants or something so you can see the crop belly piece but you're not going to be able to see it like that because I'm going to have this on at all times so I'm just going to put clothes on over my spank and that's just going to help the video go a little bit faster but this is actually like a like a cut it's in it's in the nude family it's a cream type vibe and it's so gaudy it's so beautiful it's so me it is so energy rich energy vibes only all 2021 so if you're not subscribed to rich girls plan on instagram like if you're not following go follow and then to catch up with all my other pages just follow me at curly's victoria on Instagram and you will see all of my associated pages in the bio so this blouse looks like this I got this blouse from Windsor it is such a staple piece baby now you guys might have seen some of these pieces in my last video I did a video that basically just showed you guys um, <clears throat> a whole lookbook of items that I had in my closet that I either have not worn or they didn't get worn longer than a second and I showed you guys a whole lookbook but if you guys see this little shirt it is a girl it's a vibe it's a what please sis get into it get into it to it so I got this blouse from Windsor I'm not gonna put the description links in the I might put the description link to the store Windsor um but then again it's kind of like I can't put the items because a lot of these items I've already had so I know that they're not like per se on the winter list at the moment but this right here is just such a freaking vibe I love it love it love it love it love it so get into this look you gotta be happy for the one life that you got okay can't be ungrateful so if you feel like dancing you feel like singing do it and and be thankful okay y'all so just a regular um t-shirt oversized t-shirt um this is a russell t-shirt and i believe it's like initially probably one of those shirts from like walmart target that type of vibe but I got it from the Goodwill when I was thrifting. Um, you guys know I love thrifting. But I got this shirt a long time ago and it just has the basic Russell on there. And it's probably like, you know, like how people have the sportswear and stuff like that as well. Maybe it was, you know, used for something like that. But this is my oversized shirt. I do have on biker shorts. Well, I have on, not biker shorts. I have on a spank that resembles biker shorts with this. Typically, I would wear an oversized shirt out with a set of biker shorts whether they're nude or whether they're black or whatever. So I don't wear my oversized t-shirts out without bottoms under them. I don't care if it's long enough to cover my butt. I will still normally wear like shorts, even if it's mini shorts or biker shorts underneath the t-shirt. We're not going out there with just underwear and a t-shirt, just not doing it. So if you do that, do your thing. But for me, I'm always gonna have a little bit of shorts up under there. Um, moving on. Okay, so the next one, same exact situation. Got this sh shirt thrifting a long time ago. It's more of a cream, but it's still in the nude family. I have on biker shorts. This one's a little longer than the other one, so that's why you barely can see. But if you guys go ahead and get into the look. Get into the look, baby. I should probably be showing you guys a few bags in this video as well, because if you didn't see the other video, it's probably nice to be able to see a few nude pieces that you might not have caught in that video as i told you guys in the other video this actually came from winter um and then i have another bag that's porcelain like that came from winter as well it's nude i had it, this exact bag in the past got scuffed up i got rid of it and i ended up buying it again so that's 
the bag. And then also, you guys know I love my in systemic racism. This is a black owned bag from a black designer, Brandon Blackwood. Um, so if you guys are not familiar with Brandon Blackwood, he was the designer of this bag. So one of my favorite bags. It also, you could do it as a side and it's canvas. It's a canvas bag or you could do it as a crossbody. It's just literally up to whatever vibe you're feeling for the day. I've worn it in all three ways, um, all dependent upon my day. Literally one minute I'll be holding it by the handles looking cute. Next minute it's crossbody because I have something to do. Next time it's shoulder body because I'm just trying to get quickly access to my wallet. Like, So do your thing. But let's move on to the next fit. Okay, y'all, so if you know me, you know I'm really, really big on trench coats. Like, you know, I love a good trench coat. So the trench coat that I have on right now is more of a, it's in the nude family, but it has a gold undertone to it. So it looks more khaki gold, iridescent, than it does just a nude. So basically, this is literally it. And it's crazy because I remember when I first got this jacket like a long time ago, I couldn't even button it up. Now I can button it, and it's crazy. Cause this is a size, I think is a size two. Um, and for me, I was having, I couldn't button it, but it would fit me right open. And then my sleeves, like my shoulders were so much tighter. But I remember just saying, one of these days I'm gonna be dropping more weight so it'll fit me fine. And now look, the day has come. And it's, um, it's um, you can hear the material, water resistant like very comfortable this is Burberry um I got this from a designer boutique uh, a long time ago one of my favorite boutiques and it literally like how do you put this it wasn't on Burberry's website it wasn't in Burberry stores it wasn't any of that it was super 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 um unique and that's what stood out to me that's what made me have to have it in my closet because it wasn't something that I seen on the website like all their other trench coats and stuff like that that was just something that wasn't and if you guys know Burberry trench coats can be like over a thousand dollars okay so to be able to find this unique trench coat in one of my favorite boutique places um designer boutique places a while ago was real cool and I've had this for some years now and I've still managed to keep it haven't sold it is so unique it'll be with me for quite some time but like I said, I think that's one of the most oppressive things is it now buttons. I mean, it now, like, yeah, you guys saw it. It snaps in the front now. That's, like, major goals. Obviously, I still have some weight that I want to lose. But at that point, I'll be able to have on, like, full clothes under here and still button it. So let's get into it, sis. Let's get into it. Something like this, I would probably wear a bag like this. I'm out and about, you know what I mean? Some little high heels on, minding my business. It is what it is. You feel me? So that's a good look. A good look, sis. It's a good look. Okay, y'all. So the next look is this trench coat. It is just such a vibe. The material definitely is more of a suede-like material, but it's a sleek suede. Um, and, you know, it does button up all the way. I think I got this in a small or extra small. Or was it bigger than that? Because I, I got the... Let me see. I think it might even be a medium. No, it's a small. Um, I wanted it to be an extra small, but I had to get the last size, which was this. A small, and normally I do get smalls, but I could have gone for an extra small, because as you guys can see, like if even if I do butt in the trench, I still have like this much room. But it's okay, because an oversized look is always a look. You feel me? And then a lot of times with my trenches, I just let my belt piece, I make sure it's like even, and just let it hang. Um, sometimes like if it's gonna touch the floor, I'll just like, you know, maybe tie it in a bow so it doesn't and then like if I'm Trying to be like You and my business don't do that then I need to be like this So I can be like you and my business. Excuse me. You and my business Don't do that <laughs> No, but this is definitely a vibe. I love this trench coat. It's one of my favorites Get into it Okay, y'all, so these next pants, they're a little bit low riding, but I feel like they will come back higher. Not worn them, but I feel like they'll come back up higher once I lose a little weight. These are actually extra small. I got to move the camera because you guys can't really see. 
but they're extra small such a vibe but like i said i need to lose a couple pounds so that they can be more high-waisted um but these were definitely a look um i need to shave my armpits that was the look but anyway these are definitely a look super classy that's why I was so attracted. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got so many heels, so many outfits that'll look good with that. And now that I'm kind of looking at what I have on, it just gave me another look idea because I feel like this would look really good with a bodysuit. Obviously not my spank, but like an actual bodysuit kind of shaped the same way, kind of a V-cut. Looks really good with these pants. I'm looking in the, the big mirror and the big mirror says, yes, yes. But anyway, that's what these look like. And there was only one size, so there was only one left. And, you know, I had to get in where I fit in. And, I mean, it's a good thing that they actually fit now. But, like I said, I wouldn't wear them now. I would wait until I drop some pounds. So, I don't look okay in my bottoms. I look like the baddest in them, which would require me to drop a few pounds. So, I can be all of that and a bag of vegan chips. Let me get to the next outfit. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I just kept the bottoms on real quick. I wanted to show you guys this top. It's just, I got this top from Ross. I got these bottoms from Ross as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Anybody else drink celery juice? It's a taste, it's a taste. Anyway. I got this bot this top from Ross as well a long time ago. I think I got it for like five bucks, but I was just in completely like the material kind of gives you a canvas vibe look with the little three buttons. It's a very soft cotton like material. And I just thought, I don't know, this was just a vibe. It was like so simple, but yet so detailed. And so, you know, sometimes I just throw, you know, a pair of pants on with these. A lot of times I wear the buttons buttoned all the way up, but you can't, they're real buttons if you want to unbutton them. But for me, I just wear it buttoned up to the top. Good little nude. I'm going out for the day or something like that. You know, I might just catch a quick little vibe. Quick little vibes. Moving on. Okay, y'all. The next. I love a good sweater vibe. This nude sweater actually came from Express. I think this was originally like a. Was it a eighty dollar sweater? $60 sweater I can't remember it was expensive expensive and there was a day where I think I was in the summertime and there was a markdown because we were out of season and I got this sweater like 50% off I think it was like 50% off or something but it's super comfortable if you guys look at the material it's super comfortable it's got the turtleneck vibe and it's not a whole like turtleneck that like feels like it's like there to where you got to roll it down it's literally like the most comfortable turtleneck I think I got this in an extra small or a small <clears throat> and like obviously you can wear it with biker shorts or you can wear this with some pants you know like some either sweatpants or you can go with the vibe that's like some denims <clears throat> ripped denims whatever you want but this nude is definitely essential to have you a good comfortable sweater I don't know about y'all but I get cold all the time so whenever I go to restaurants or I go places that I'm not familiar with I will always make sure I wear something like long sleeve so whether it's in the winter or it's in the summer or it's in a like if I know I'm going out to dinner I'm not gonna wear a long sleeve to dinner I'm bringing a jacket I'm bringing something so this is definitely something that's like a you know oh I'm gonna go you know we're gonna go to a quick restaurant tonight um you know what I mean but we're gonna be super casual if I had on like biker shorts or I decided to go put on some bottoms, this is something that's like a quick go to. Okay, we're going, you know what I mean? We're going out for a vibe. I tell you guys all the time, just keep it simple. Keep it classy. Have a statement pair of shoes, have a statement bag, and occasionally some statement jewelry would also go. Because sometimes less is better, but you still sometimes might need statement. So let's move on. So this next pair of pants right here, I actually need to take the time to figure out a way to get the lint balls off of my pants because these are a nude pair of pants, but I keep these, like they are so comfortable. I got them from Ross a long time ago, um, but if you look on the back and even the front, you probably can't see it from the camera, but I have lint balls on here and they're not attractive. Um, but this is a quick vibe that 
you know, if I'm right into the store, I'll normally throw something on like this. It might either be a long sleeve or maybe it's a, it's a bodysuit. Most of the time my bodysuits are covered up. But like I said, we're dealing with a spank. So that's why everything is so exposed. Because you got to normally, you know, get your life. But also something like this. I'll run to the store like this. You know, grocery shopping. Quick day-to-day -day shopping, whatever. Car wash days, whatever. I just feel like I have several vibes. So... Find a vibe and stick to it, sis. Okay? Stick to it. These next bottoms are a pair of nudes as well. I got these from Ross. Also, I got the last ones from Ross. I got these from Ross. And the next pair I'm going to try on in Ross. You guys notice some of these pants I actually have in different colors. So, like these nude tan ones, I actually have these in gray as well. Um, And then my... um next pair i have them in olive so this is a quick look of uh the next pants here i know they look like the ones i just had on but these are darker and they're not the same material i have these in an olive green super comfortable i also got these from ross most of my joggers i get from ross are right around the eight dollar range there has been some that i've spent more on just because i might have wanted them but most of the time it's like $8.99, $9.99. Some days I get blessed and I find a deal. Some Like my biker shorts, I normally can get like $5 sometimes out of Ross if I get some out of there. But everything else is pretty much $8.99, $9.99, $9.99 when it comes down to biker shorts. Or biker pants. Joggers. Sorry. I still have on the spank, but it's crop. And I'm sorry, I feel like I had something in my eye. It keeps hitting it. Um, this is my workout outfits and you could do this thumb action too. So if you're a girl who lifts and stuff like that, I love these personally on workout clothes because I have the option, um, if I want to, um, instead of having to wear gloves and stuff like that to lift in the gym, it's like, we're good. Or if I have to do action in the gym, cool. But these are super high weights that I love them seamless. And this is one of my neutral nude workout sets now the joggers you guys see me in i do wear those like on a i'm going out for the day get comfortable but i also do sometimes work out like sports bra and those pants and i'll do like a workout an indoor bike workout or something but i know you guys can't really fully see this but it's like a marl color it's like a brown mixed with nude let me get a little closer maybe if i it's the lighting but if you guys kind of see it's nude. It's a really good vibe. So let's move on to our final look and we'll be out this video, baby. And this concludes our final lookbook, y'all. So this is a nude, um, same outfit, women's best work uh, workout. But the only thing is this is like a true tan nude color. As you guys can see, like I said, the lighting kind of makes things look a little different. But everything that I tried on in this video and the last video are neutral. And like I said, I didn't know in the beginning if I was going to break these videos up. But because they're super long, I think that I am. So that's why I keep referring to the other video. But... celery juice baby I have to have a protein shake a little bit later so but anyway that concludes this video thanks for rocking with your girl make sure you smash the subscribe button remember we're doing a 400 subscriber luxury giveaway or lies we're doing a 400 subscriber women's best shape body shape meal replacement giveaway so if you're on your fitness journey or you are thinking about getting on a fitness journey and you know that you kind of probably want to substitute meals for a beverage or something like that this will work for you um and then when we hit 500 subscribers we're actually going to do a luxury giveaway that's going to basically have you know like a luxury vibe uh giveaway and yeah that's 500 subscribers so get into it so we can get to it let's get your girl can we get can we get to 500 subscribers by february 
or, or am I is your girl asking for too much let's at least get to 400 subscribers by February first because I am ready to gift give and give away that shape body shake and then let's get to 500 so we can do that luxury giveaway and once we get over 500 we can decide what the giveaways are going to be after that okay so I'll see y'all in the next video thanks for tuning in and later it's only 11 something but why does it feel like it's too